In RimWorld, the fun never runs out. If you get bored, you can always add more stuff. So since I'm not accustomed to using so many mods at once, I thought it would be cool to give an overview of the things I added just to add vivacity to my gameplay. RimHUD shows me this. I don't like it yet, but a lot of you guys seem to, and I want to like it. The Octoon combat mod lets me do this, which is actually pretty sweet. Honestly, that's one of my favorite mods. Camera Plus lets me do this or this. Combat Extended actually adds a whole lot of new stuff to the game. I turned off ammo because I don't like crafting ammo, but uh, I'll be using the other features probably really badly. Pretty much it gives you shot type selections for snapshots. I don't even know what some of these are yet. It changes out some of the weapons and you have magazines instead, as well as reloading. Embrasures lets me build embrasures. Allow tool just adds a whole lot of other options to the game that make things much easier. A personal favorite of mine is hotkeys because I don't think vanilla has enough hotkeys. I added labels to the floor. That adds labels to the floor and it shows what each room is actually for. Something just expl- oh man, why would you explode? Ah, uh, the pains of being a boomalope. Repeatedly, many of you guys have suggested the Stack XXL mod, and while I'm a fan of mining, ah, uh, things have gotten out of hand. Now I won't recognize anything anymore, though. I also added the Run and Gun mod, which is actually gonna let me run while I'm shooting, or- or shoot while I'm running. Really, it could be either. Uh, it's not so OP because the AI can do it too, and I kind of insist on allowing that. But, I don't know, vanilla combat can feel kind of stiff at times. And there goes Tynan. Wearing his human leather suit and three o'clock playing the piano we just got. How romantic. If I missed anything, I'm putting it all in the mod list below. So you can check it out for yourself. Some people think I am canonically opposed to adding mods. That's a little bit true, but I just am a slow learner and it's taken me a long time to learn this game. I never wanted to mix things up with what's in a mod and what's actually in the vanilla game. So it's taken me about 300 hours, but I'm finally more open to mods. And yes, I'm just gonna let my boomalo pretty much eat all the crops. I want them to stay safe. Perhaps the most exciting of all the mods is insectoids, which I can't really see yet, but eventually we'll see. I have no idea how or if they'll add themselves to this world because I've already started the game, so that might just be a total fail, but it looks incredibly exciting and I'm hoping it happens at some point. If not here, it'll be in my next series. Now, part of the reason I'm doing this is because this is more or less turned into a normal colony and I can never sit still. I could never sit still as a kid, so I'm adding more things. So let's get some actual defenses and I can't believe I'm saying this let's legitimately try to build up a rimworld colony <laughs> it seems like I haven't done that in years we'll start by finishing off our plasteel trap defenses right in our makeshift kill box and we'll also build some actual embrasures more like that we'll fix this up somehow we're getting a new message I legitimately am concerned about you have intercepted several strange electronic signals nearby while harmless on their own such signals are often an indicator of mechanoid activity in the area some of the larger mechanoids have heavy armor that will easily deflect all rifle fire. UPS says you need something that can defeat at least 20 millimeter RHA. Molotov cocktails, which can sink into openings and overheat internal components, or EMP weapons, which can destroy their circuitry. We have fire, but little else. I also had regrets about naming Cher after my favorite 90s pop singer, so I'm renaming her If I Could Turn Back for If I Could Turn Back Time. No, that's too much. How about Time or, or even Tamantha? Okay, it's perfect. For the record, there's just such a surplus of good name choices. The first step is to actually become well defended. So I'm having Tynan finish off the defenses. And we have another problem. My colony is ugly as hell. In carving away from rock, we've actually made things worse. So I'm going to make this more of a grid and I want it to actually look attractive. Something that's been impossible for the first 25 years of my life. I'm terrible at organization. I also installed this sweet camera follow mod that lets me actually track the colonists. It's kind of Dwarf Fortressian. Dwarf Fortressian? Alright, that's a word. And we've finished off the plasteel traps. Ooh, social fight. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? These things can be really deadly, but they, uh... Alright, they... Made up. Just bruises and cracks. More bruises and cracks. Next, we'll work on in the embrasures. Give FedEx and Mailman more impressive bedrooms. And then start to reassign some of our work priorities. I want to make sure that we have only people who have passions in each skill doing each job. And we probably want to keep the boomalopes out of the spike traps. This one's like nestled in here for the night. It's adorable, but also, that leads to explosions. Okay, you can go everywhere except for there. And we'll name that Animals Are Smart. Okay. And it looks like we've come a long way in recruiting our prisoner. She's now got only one- I mean he has only got 1.8 resistance remaining. Next we'll fix up our defenses. We can make the bedrooms actually not garbage. 
through the hard work of time, and which has made all of this possible in so many senses. And I've got a lot of odd jobs in here. Really, I just want all these corners taken off of these mind walls. The meteors really led to a lot of non-squarishness, which I want to replace with squarishness in our architecture. I'm a little OCD, but I know what I like when I see it. I'd fix this up, Tynan. Well, we figured out our embrasures situation, and we can also build more cloth sandbags along here to keep people from standing in the way. We want to prevent enemies from getting any cover ever. Pe like, period. So let's just mine out more of this box right here. We'll replace this with embrasures and mine out the rest here. And let's see, we're trying to tame this. Oh, close but no cigar. I still think we need to assign somebody to be a permanent researcher. We just haven't got that much done. And FedEx is a ridiculously good researcher. So I think we're going to take him off of some of his other duties. What is he even spending his time on? He's cleaning. Okay, FedEx, you don't clean anymore. You just study. Good, he's researching. It's more or less what we wanted. And now we can actually clear up his research room. This place is a mess. Let's stop stockpiling stuff in here and take it away. Now they are starting to stack things up in larger piles. Here they've got 331 steel. And he's an incredibly fast researcher. He's, he's thinking so quickly. He's thinking about geothermal. Thermal power. Such a versatile mind. And if we're trying to make the entire place look good, let's start actually making specialized stockpiles. Or the real secret here is just to make shelves. Shelves, and I'll use sandstone since it's fast to build. Let's just go here, here, and here. And I also really like the idea of having some kind of armory in here. So let's try putting that out here. Maybe I could just mine out some more of this and then give them a place to put the weapons. We'll keep building things out of marble to make it pleasant. And we'll keep building doors out of steel because I have more steel than wood. We got another quest called Paid Weather Control. Controller. It's gonna give us a neuro trainer in construction, which would be really good. Or a neuro trainer in cooking. I don't really want the psychic shock lance. But this isn't a weather controller. This is mechanoids arriving at a site nearby to harass me. If you send the signal, mechanoids will activate a site nearby to harass you. There's a weather controller machine there, forcing the weather in the whole region to foggy rain. Also, two mechanoids are sleeping nearby and there may be an unknown threat. This site will remain until you go destroy it. Well, we haven't been on any quests and we're just about ready. We created a masterwork sandstone shelf. I think it's worth it for the neuro trainer in construction. These neuro trainers are OP. I'll take some mechanoids. Give me the neuro trainer. Site appeared, weather controller. Foggy rain and mechanoids sleeping nearby. And the pod, there it is with my constructor or neuro trainer. Mm, mailman isn't particularly good at stuff. I think I want to use this on him. He has only one, one construction skill. Let's find out what it does. All right, use that neuro trainer. You'll be my dummy test subject. He got five points. That's probably a waste because uh, I don't know whether it goes by levels or experience points, but at least he can construct stuff now. And we got through all the worst first levels, so we can use that to make him into a constructor. Okay, great. You're far less useless to me now, mailman. This is happening on an economic level in the entire world right now as email takes over uh the struggle of the mailman don't worry work i'm keeping them employed not just amazon we're getting closer we're getting closer to recruiting Liarbird. there's no resistance remaining but i imagine that he must be pretty salty about losing his arm i think he lost it to one of our traps all right let's figure out where these mechanoids are we're going for a walk but i honestly like the foggy rain i know it's like bad i just like the look of rain though no judge me. And we'll use these shelves only for stone blocks. In a few hours, my base will look actually organized. And now that we have so much corn in our storage, we can probably eliminate some of the laborious rice. I'm going to shrink the zone a lot. I don't think I need all this. That's much better. And we can use this for, I don't know, something. Just harvest the rest. We can build roofs over our defenses. Ooh, another royal tribute collector. And we have 3,000 gold right now. We'll accept any prisoners and gold you offer as tribute. The one who gives over the tribute will receive royal favor for the tradition and supporting the upper houses. Now we had an interesting guy last time. We have pretty decent goodwill with them. It's a nobleman named Prodramus. Again, a very Greek, very Greek looking group of, uh, oh, they're actually really well armed. They look kind of cool. I like them. I want to know where the gold at. I want the gold. Give me the gold. He's like Mr. Krabs. But Mr. Krabs, yeah, he's Mr. Krabs. Yeah, but we are all Mr. Krabs. Squidward's father never hugged him. All right, let's trade with these guys because I'm about to give them like 4,000 gold. Yoo-hoo. And we get these royals who are willing to trade with us. I'm going to give them all of the gold. 
And though I like Lyrebird, I've looked at the stats, and I just don't- I think missing the arm is gonna, like, it's gonna nerf him too much. I may as well take the extra favor. After all, this is probably the most important thing that we get. Let's see, 60 royal favor. I wonder what that'll come out to. We've got 60 royal- Okay, I'm a count. Oh, 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 I'm a count. We got four Psylinks, and that's, uh, that's all that we needed. That's more than enough. Okay, they just landed through the ceiling. Let's see what happens when I have six Psylinks. This can't go well. Okay, Psylink level three. Da 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 So when we draft him, we get Stun Blinding Pulse Chaos Skip. Tell Bart the target to a random position near where he started. We can call the colonist his throne. And we've still got three more left. All right, go on. Psylink level four, what does that do? Now he's got Smoke Pop. Skip dust particles from under the ground surface to form a thick cloud. This reduces the accuracy of any shot fired through it and preventing turrets from locking on entirely. Cool. Let's take another one. I can't overdose on them. Flash storm. Differential pressure skip gates in the atmosphere to generate a localized flash storm. The storm will strike the area with lightning for some time before dissipating. What can the next one do? There is a Psylink level six. I can't wait to find out. Berserk pulse. Generate an overwhelming rush of undirected rage in everyone near the target point. That could be good or bad. Uh, I have no idea how to use it though, so that's, uh, that's a fear. Alright, and now he's gonna be way more picky. How is he doing from a mood point of view? Royal expectations. Uh, he's not gonna be too happy. Undivignified bedroom, throne room. Count specific apparel, soaking wet. Yeah, we gotta make him happy soon. He needs columns, drapes, fine floors, and a grand meditation throne. Right, it's gonna be a while on that. He needs an end table dresser and drape. That is easier to do. End table, drape. We'll put it at the end of the bed. End dresser. Okay, this can be done. He won't ever do constructing. Oh no. He won't do any. <laughs> Right, I guess he's just, we're, we're like retiring him. I still kind of like him as a character though, you know? I, maybe we'll make him into a researcher? All right, let's back out of this mining. This, <laughs> this will not be good. And we're fucked. We are fucked. Maybe we'll want to raise his Psy focus cost and we'll just have him do combat. Like he's going to be some sort of gallant knight. Or that's what he sees himself as now. Oh, whatever. We'll just set him to max Psy cast. He's pretty much here just to be a military force now. Go on, just keep praying or whatever you need and he's not happy with normal meals anymore i'm might actually hate counts i think he can have only lavish meals too Sh shit <laughs> that's crazy we'll always have five ready for him and we'll have alcatraz cook those and we finally made him some lavish meals we're gonna need to actually create a hunting queue now because we're gonna need meat for this kind of a bizarre requirement but it will make him happy and he's pretty happy to begin with now we'll go through the wildlife queue and just make sure that we're hunting basic stuff. Since we have rain all the time, we can hunt the boomalopes, I guess. Boom rats as well. Uh, you know what? Let's go hunt bison. We've got on run and gun. We should be safe doing that. Maybe. We'll just have to micromanage our hunters. Though I wish more wildlife could survive on here. And, oh... Medium psychic drone on males. Well, fortunately, everyone's in a decent mood to start. So I'm just an engine of hatred is stirring. Oh, dude, not a good spot to hunt from. Much better. There we go, one bison down. That's all the meat for like a month. You do not want to shoot from right there, man. Trust me. Oh, hey, shoot that warg. Right in the face. Right in the face. Again, there. Ooh, Jesus, that was close. I'd hunt that shit. There we go. Grab the bison. Now we got meals for days. And more bison revenge. Well. He didn't get revenge. Oh, but this one might. This one might. Oh, wait, no, it's putting out the fire. Let's give it a shot. Oh, nice. Well done, well done. Oh, that, horde, that herd of bison was remarkably easy to take out. Oh, I'll play you the world's smallest violin. Supplies for Sabeco. Is this like Saab? They want tribal wear. I just don't think we have time to get her ready. Plus, I'm enjoying hunting the bison. You know, it's taking my colonists too long to get around the map now if they want to hunt for animals. I think we actually need to mine out to the sides, otherwise we're going to be screwed. But then we'll also leave all ourselves defenseless. What we really need is to just raise an animal or two in here. If we could have cows so that we could get milk, that would be the best. And I think we're going to go into a massive uh, mood break. The moderate psychic drone is going to kill these guys. Yep. Everybody's gonna go mad. All right, well, whatever. Ah, uh, he's reloading his revolver after having some human flesh. This is effed up. His nose is shattered. That made him feel so good. Now he enjoys going on the hunt. I love it. Dwayne went on a smoke leaf binge, so he was slower. We beat him up so that he wouldn't get addicted, and now he's even slower. And now he's socializing in the hallway. And he just picked up a chain shotgun. Classic Rimworld. Now hold on to your hat, because there's gonna be a lot of psychic drone now. And with psychic drone comes mental break. My favorite event. Oh, it's ending. Never mind. It's a real shame. I, I wanted some catharsis. I like this. Royal expectations. 
My majesty, I can hardly believe it myself. A moment's discomfort is below me. Well, everyone's back to an alarmingly good mood. But UPS gets jealous, so let's make some actual bedrooms. This is gonna be not for prisoners anymore. We'll unassign that from UPS and make the prisoner room into his room. That's all you get. I don't- I think he's- he might just be permanently jealous, though. How are we gonna make another room that nice? They'll still, I owe them each a bedroom. And a bedroom they'll get. This is interesting. Shearing Boomalope 2. Okay, I guess that's the- I guess that's the chem fuel? No, just FSX. Wow, uh, weird. I don't even know how that works or what it is. I guess that's in combat extended or something. I'll allow it. It's time for a bulk goods trader. A trade ship is passing nearby. Uh, we haven't had a single one of these yet. We deserve this. I'll go trade with him. And I might actually buy some hauling animals. I just have more jobs than I can deal with. We can sell him all of the pants. I don't need so many pants. I don't need so many clothes. I know they're good, I just don't need quite all this shit. In fact, I want to offload some of it too. We'll take his neutroamine, sell him the animal skins. We can sell him all of our jade. We don't even need jade, nor do I want to be that rich. We could use all of that, like, stone and precious metal to buy a bunch of Labrador retrievers. Labrador retrievers and maybe a hen or two. We'll also sell a bunch of plasteel, because we have way too much. Just way too much. We'll buy some bedrolls. Ridiculously expensive. Buy tactical vest. Buy steel ballistic shield. That looks cool. I don't even know how you pronounce this but I want it. More armor. I'll buy an Eltex robe. That looks sick. We have just so much plasteel on this map, I'm willing to sell it all. Maybe I'll keep a hundred or something like that. I'll buy some actual medicine. A few advanced components wouldn't hurt. And I haven't used yaks, but I'm willing to try one. Just the surplus of metals has made us really rich. We'll also get some more chem fuel and maybe a few lavish meals. All right, I'm willing to accept this and accept. That's all. Whoa. Oh man, we're gonna need to... <laughs> We got Labrador Retrievers trapped in here. Ah, nice. That is beautiful. Okay, mine our way to them, and mine our way to these ones, and the yaks we bought, and the other animals were dropped in here, and let's mine them out. Go, go, Alcatraz. Mine out our animals, and they are trapped in there. Jeez. Uh, I need them mainly for hauling right now. I know it doesn't seem great, but we're going to have to, like, have a spontaneous animal hauling group. Usually this doesn't work for the record, but I'm, hey, I'm willing to give it a try. Plus, Labradors aren't that bad animals. I'm gonna regret saying that. <laughs> Break them out. They're starving. And it looks like we just about got them all. Let's also give Tynan this Eltex robe. And how will he look in it? Oh, this is going to be dashing. Uh, a wonderful accoutrement. <laughs> how do you say that word? Whatever it is. Uh, yeah, that looks good. That looks really, really good. I like it. I like it. Nice robe. And we could give Tamantha this steel helmet, whatever it is. It looks pretty cool. I like it. And it looks kind of badass. Let's send out the animals and send them to their zone. Hen one, what? It has food poisoning. It's a hen. Now we're gonna wanna take FedEx off of this job. Or what is he doing? All right, he can tend to the hens. The hen tender. Ah, a fight, a social fight. Eh, not a bad one. Oh well, looking forward to that. I mean, my main thing is I don't want the animals to starve, so I think I'm just gonna let them wander around. Except maybe not in the kitchen. Yeah, let's just keep them out of our uh, house. No animals in the house. You're not allowed in here. Or here, or the kitchen. That gets dirty. And no poo poo. No wee wee in here. No wee wee. No animal urine. You can go in the batteries. No bedrooms. Stay out of my storage. Stay out of my bedrooms. Stay out of m most places. Really most places. I don't want you in there. Get out of here. See how they do with that. Oh poor hen one. I hardly knew thee. Ooh, it is gonna lay an egg. Uh, the They're being named by the tamers. Allegra. Alright, I'll allow it. Now although I'm as much of a fan of random ass rain as the next person, I do think that we should go on a quest to this place with the, uh, with the rain generator nearby. We need to avoid the toxic spewing fallout. We've really let this place go far. I think we should just take out a few of these in one go. We'll form a caravan with Tynan, Tamantha, Dwayne, and I think we'll send them out. Bring a few lavish meals, a few simple meals, and some cloth bed rolls, and we'll send them up here. Though maybe it'd be better if we could wait till we get packaged survival meals. I don't want them to starve on the way there or back. A lot of my journeys have been rushed. I think we could wait a little longer. Ooh, we have geothermal power. Let's get packaged survival meals so that we can go on trips. We'll also start to take advantage of these geothermal vents. Just a little ways to go here, and that'll do the trick. Well, our animals are eating all of the fields. I think we'd better plant them some hay, too. 
Hopefully they don't become more work than they're worth, though. Otherwise, I will just slaughter them. We'll also instruct the creation of kibble from now on. We want to make sure we have plenty for training our animals. It just adds to UPS's cooking job. UPS and Alcatraz. Labrador 5 has been named Camus. After Albert Camus? The philosopher? And author? Jesus. Okay, they're getting it on. They're getting it on. Well, our animals are eating too many of our crops. It's time to limit their zone again, because they are smart. No heel root for you, no corn area for you. No heel root, no corn, no rice. I think I regret these yaks. They can't do anything. I'm going to slaughter them. Good. Food. We'll use that to train the other animals. Yeah, yaks are pretty much useless, it seems like, except for the meat. Probably good for meat if you had a lot of them. They'd probably eat just as much food to begin with. Oh, is this yak milk? Hmm, well, I'll be damned. All right, I guess that was what the yaks were good for. But, uh, well, F me, I, that was my first time raising yaks. I completely regret that. Get the dead warg out of here. There we go. Mm, I smell a catharsis. We still have the chickens and their eggs, so that's food. Now I guess we'll just have an army of Labrador retrievers. Though now that's slowing down my colonists. Bleh, I hate doing this. Time and time again, animals have demonstrated their uselessness in this game. Maybe cows. I think cows are good. Like, have two cows, but stop it there. No more. All right, everyone. Come back. Ironically, the yaks might have been the only ones worth saving in that. Note to self, keep only creatures that produce milk. I think cows and yaks are it. All right, here we begin the mass dog slaughter. And at least we'll have lavish meals for a while. A very, very long time. Ooh, I should have known better than to slaughter a boomalope. Do we actually have to fire at them? Well, I'll be damned. That hasn't happened yet. Fight the, f <laughs> fight the fire, Jesus. And rescue FedEx. Oh, let's let this one die. Let that one die out. Do not help it. There we go, much better. Is there one left? There is. All right, just leave him. Chicken nuggets tonight. Prepare for mental breaks. Let's research auto doors. And let's actually make some packaged survival meals. Make sure that we have 10 in stock. We'll just get Alcatraz to make those. Come on, do your job. Please do your job. All right, well. It's time to die, filthy animals. Okay, sorry, I had to. At least we can use the continuous rain for this. Yeah, goodbye. Ah, party. Tynan's throwing a party. This is a very sad party. No one's looking at each other, and he doesn't like any of them. It's like a party of anger. He's throwing a party for people you hate. And we have auto doors. Next, I want a multi-analyzer. Next, we'll take the Labrador retriever meat and the rice and make them into packaged survival meals. Fine dining and breathing. And in this way, we'll prepare for the journey ahead. That's all we need. Now we have everything we need to set out on our journey. North lie the mechanoids. I think we'll get caught in a toxic spewer on the way there too. F that. Who is the most mentally stable for this important trip? I think UPS and uh, Dwayne should go. Alcatraz will stay. I'm sending in Tamantha with the EMP grenades. And Tynan, of course. Let's go. As we make some more cloth bedrolls. Set down a bunch of them in here. One, two, three, and four. Done. Pick them up. Tamantha, Dwayne, UPS, and Tynan are going on this journey. Bring along all the survival meals, a few simple meals, and a few lavish ones. Go there. Takes 0.8 days. And accept. We have only 3.3 days worth of food. I'm forming it anyway. Bring the steel ballistic shield too. Go. Actually, I almost forgot. Bring the bedrolls too. They'll need to sleep one night. And get going. Get ready for the journey. Here they go. Off to the great beyond. We've got a revolver, two chain shotguns, and one EMP grenade. Or one grenadier. And there they go out. And we got a mad red fox. He mad. Um... Nah, we could leave that. He's not really a threat. He'll have to get past all this. In fact, let's see how close he comes. And will any of the other animals stop him? There he goes. And nope. Okay. Did he get? Oh, shit. I didn't realize that that way into our base is open now. Let's forbid all of these doors. It is chasing him. It is in hot pursuit. Jeez. And there it comes. Get your guns. Run and gun. And run and gun for hunting. Hunt this one down. I'm gonna do a drive-by on a fox. Let's see how this works. They should automatically... Yeah. There we go. Wow. They automatically hunt everything? That's actually kind of a cool order. All right. Problem solved. No more stupid uh, dying to horses and foxes. I like that. I buy that. And we're almost at the location. We don't seem to have gotten hurt by the toxic fallout. We have plenty of food as well. And we're getting close to the weather controller here. Let's just enter it. Approach weather controller. Here we go. We got a weather controller down here. Two scythers sleeping nearby. And it looks like we came in from the south. Let's see if we can go in without aggroing them. I think this would be better and just go on up guys then kind of fork over and let's see okay i think since tynan has the powers i'm just gonna have him go in there 
If he gets stuck, I'll have the other ones call in. Okay, claim the entrance and let's just go in. It looks like it's just, okay, all we've got is the weather control. Let's see if we can melee it. Can we do it quietly? And are they gonna, oh fuck, okay, they woke up, fuck. <laughs> um, okay, all right, they can shoot from there. We've got EMP grenades. You stand there, you stand there. You stand there, and these guys are really fast. Mm. Okay, we've got two possible squads we could do with the Royal Aid, so I think let's just bring those in as a shield. Call in the Janissary squad right here between the Tynan and the Scythers, and then let's run him into cover so that he can just stay safe. Uh, I guess we could run everybody up a little bit more. Okay, we'll put them like there. Yeah there, something like that, and have him go out, and they're running at our comrades right now. We, ooh, we gotta be careful. Come on, run, 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 run. No, 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 she doesn't have armor. Fuck. And he's hit, he's hit. Run, 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 run. Fuck, fuck. Okay, good, hit her, hit her. She's armored. And death in two hours, fuck. Man, they're really fast. All right, we forgot to bring medicine. Let's just put down a sleeping spot. Medical rescue, fuck. Okay, go in and destroy that weather facility. And you go stabilizer. We got nothing to do this. This is gonna be <laughs> just bare hands. Ah, oh, she got shot with bullets too. Six hours, nine hours. Okay, it looks like he's a good enough doctor that he can fix this all up. Good. <laughs> I want that shit gone. We could probably shoot it here and that'd be faster. Yeah, let's just do it that way. Okay, looks like we got her stabilized. 20 hours, no immediate danger. Wow, he is a way better doctor than I thought. She still lost her left big toe and her left index finger. And we're gonna have to deal with this toxic buildup, but... You know, the Janissary squad actually looks really cool. Okay, we're taking out the weather controller and... Jesus. Actually, let's just move this inside. We'll put everything down in here. Put down the cloth bed rolls for tonight. They don't, they don't have them? Okay, I guess we're just screwed. Bring her in there, rescue, grab all this stuff. And it looks like we got one of them. And we destroyed the weather controller. Nice, that was successful. Let's uh bring in these other cloth sleeping bags. I was hoping we'd be able to go to the toxic spear too, but I think we just gotta go straight home. Yeah, that was not a great fight. And he lost his right big toe. Let's see if we could fix that too. This is really terrible tens. But yeah, we gotta just live with this. I was just sleeping in this room for tonight. I had one big pile and we lost our friendlies. That's okay, they didn't die. And this is not gonna be a nice trip back. Let's bring all the berries with us. EMP grenade, ballistic shield, and the bed rolls go right back. In the meantime, it looks like it stopped raining. We have normal weather again. Double wall, that should keep them out. And we're almost on the way back. And it looks like we're pretty much ready to go do the final quest. I guess we'll get started on that the next time. Don't actually really need those. Let's get in before tonight. And they got stuck just outside the base before nightfall. Don't I think there's actually is there anything that we can do about that they're just stuck there as far as i know oh, oh an entire army of gazelles has moved in you thinking what i'm thinking mm -hmm, yeah this will be interesting did they come into the cave and they came in from the southern edge oh that's kind of a bummer but i've still been dying to use some of these psychic powers so hey while we're all out here together let's just uh bring them on or I have a better idea. Just this way up the map, yep, right over here. Now, exactly how these were meant to be used. Tynan, in an attempt to release his stress, has issued a wild royal decree and is now demanding that it be carried out. If it isn't carried out in good time, he'll be very, very unhappy. The decree is titled Potatoes Harvest Decree. Oh, he's pissed. Ooh, I guess we've seen the dark side of this now. Okay, let's beat the shit out of him. This hasn't happened yet, unfortunately. Or fortunately. <laughs> there we go. Okay, just beat the shit out of him. Yeah, good. And, all right, good. No, uh, no soup for you. But we're bringing in Gazelle, many good Gazelle. And he went catata- ooh, shit. And go rescue them. That's not good. That is not good. Rescue him. That's bad. And everybody's back. At the very least, we got everything looking a lot better, more organized. And I'm kind of excited to try out more mods. So uh, I guess uh, if you want to let me know uh, what it, what is a mod that you like to use, because I'm, I'm pretty open to trying stuff right now. I'm a good way through this series, and I just want to gonna spice it up a little bit. So I think I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you like to use. Uh, and I'll try to see if there's anything cool I want to do for the next one. Uh, and if you don't like mods, I, I probably won't do them all the time, but like I, 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 th I think I get it. But, it, you know, variety is the spice of life, so. Alright, so thanks for watching. As always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian, and I'll see you in the next video.